bumpy road. We're gonna go see Noah. He is a really dope knife maker from uh, Long Beach, California. Got like all his knives. Look at all these knives. It's the best fucking coffee in town. Can you see her crown, dude? Last week was my birthday and a Oh, happy birthday. You're matching your water bottle. Yeah. <laughs> She's out with my fam. <laughs> Hi. No, oh, you're Noah. Guys. Hi. Yeah, I'm Noah. Yeah, I'm David. Nice hat. Yeah, like, yeah, it's nice. So this is Dave. He makes these dope knives. I'm gonna take his knife. Check it out, dude. Not a bad thing. Corn on the cob, yeah. just right in there. Did yeah. it taste good? Yeah. And if they don't know knives, go, hey, you ever heard of Bob Kramer? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's seventeen thousand dollars. Yeah, we're it's wild. Can't wait to meet him though. Yeah, I was on the phone with him. He's a really nice dude. You got these big ass ribs. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome to the vlog. This is like a $500 knife? What is this? $625. $600 knife. Noah, this mm -hmm. guy made this expensive fucking knife here. Beauty. I've been using his knives for like eight years or so at work. So they're pretty, but they're also functional. We're gonna do a giveaway with Noah. We're gonna give away a chakra on yeah. the YouTube channel. Comment down below if you wanna enter that giveaway. Stay tuned. Dude, thanks so much for coming, man. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, I mean, check out Noah. I'll have links down below for all his knives and his Instagram page where you can see these awesome knives. And we'll do the giveaway. And we're gonna do a giveaway very soon. Benji uh, making his famous so pour over. Famous, wow. <laughs> Thank you. That's yes. really good. Don't be shy, okay? My first kushi, thanks to Matt. Mmm, that is really good. Did you add salt to this? I added nothing to it. You saw me shuck it. Wow. See what I'm saying? You wanna try shucking? I recommend for beginners, okay. use a towel. And you wanna do it on a flat surface on your hand. Okay. So you wanna get in here, in that nook, and sort of just push in. Just kind of like wiggle. See how it opens up? And then I'm just gonna scrape the top like that. You gotta go under it and just kind of scrape the muscle off. Okay. There you go. Cool. And you want to fold the towel over it so you can't stab your hand. Oh. Yep. Downward wiggling in. Oh, there it is. There you go. Oh. There you go. There you go. Yeah, now you can turn it on its side. Nice. There you go. Nice. It's clean. Okay. And then now I go under It's better than most cooks do. And then you <laughs> just go under the muscle and there you go. Cheers. 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 Also, you could get some creamy ones during the summertime. If it's creamy, that is sperm. Because they spawn <laughs> they, they spawn in the summer. I didn't know where that was. Dude, Jessica Alba used this knife, so I'm never gonna wash it. <laughs> also, I don't recommend what I'm doing right now. I have a board without a towel under it. Very, very, very fucking dangerous. Power stands. Oh, oh, be careful. Oh, thank you. So this is with the kimchi, what did, what did you call it? Mignonette. That is amazing. With the acidity of the kimchi. Oh, what did you put in your concoction? Uh, it's just kimchi, shallot, a little rice vinegar, and some uh, saffron oil. All right. Wow. Yeah, vinegar? Yep. Rice vinegar. I feel like that's what makes it delicious. Thank you. Makes the oyster tolerable, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Now I feel like I do champagne. Uh, Are you getting this precision right here, dude? <laughs> yeah, I am. I like to make it chunky. I like like some of the flavors to still have life rather than blend it, you know? Hey, oh no, wait. Let yeah. me get his flaky salt. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, go yes. This is yes, for having us. Tell us about the champagne. It's a James Bond champagne. Champagne. I don't even know what that means. It had a James Bond on top of it. 007. I'm not even kidding you. Well, when oh, I showed man. you, I was really hungover, so I might have missed some stuff. But <laughs> <laughs> I was like drinking Pedialyte on his podcast. <laughs> Do what you learned? Yeah, from him. Oh, okay. I'm just show him. Yeah, I'm so herbs? proud that oh, he taught God. me how to do this. And this is the only way I cook it now. Fat so side fat down. Side down first. So it, it's so he doesn't have to use any oils or anything. He's literally rendering the fat from that steak, and that's what's gonna sear him. We should start a show. It's like we should. I cook, he just talks. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> He's proving that anybody can cook. See that? Perfect shit. Perfect shit. Okay, there's two things I've learned from you specifically other than this method was pressing it down yes. like this. I usually use my hand. Secondly, making sure it's really dry. This is why you get that yep. clean sear. Pat it down. I normally like a medium rare or rare, but with high fat Wagyu, I like to rend out the fat. So sometimes it's almost borderline medium. Yep. So like, have you ever had olive fed Wagyu? Super dense in fat. And you just want to render all that fat out because it's just going to be way too decadent. And if you render it out, it just, it's a nicer flavor, nicer mouthfeel. It looks great. There it is. Wait, Jessica Alba nice? used that knife. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're holding her hand, dude. Yeah, Benji's so fancy using a fork to hold the knife. I mean, the steak. That was one thing I told Judy that I thought was kind of interesting that you straight up use your fingers for everything. Hell yeah. It didn't bother me. I just thought, well, it's just, you know, that's a cook. It, you kind of have to really touch your food, you know? Yeah. Say this, this is definitely more on the rare side. I think this one will be less I think rare. that's a great mister that you just cut into. A good what? Medium rare. Oh, okay, right. got it. Mister? Yeah. I never heard that before. Uh, it's just because on the tickets, it's usually MR. Okay, got it. Abbreviated. Oh. Okay, here we go. Here we go, the poor shot. There's the flake okay. salt. <laughs> My <laughs> <laughs> There's melted in my mouth. This is delicious. Really good. You guys like it? All right. It's <laughs> <laughs> just a special moment for me because I feel Matt almost changed my life when it comes to the steak. So the fact that I got to learn it and then cook it for him made my day. <laughs> How do you feel, teacher? Proud. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So this is Benji. This is Sean. So the reason why I have the channel and everything is these dudes right here. They know everything. They've taught me pretty much everything I know with the whole video stuff. So go ahead and follow these guys. They're having us over today. Thanks for the oysters. Thanks for the oysters. It's awesome. Kimchi. What? What? Describe this. What is it? Uh, this is a kimchi mignonette. Mignonette. Yeah. Just some shower kimchi. Vinegar, so oil. good. It's lit the best oyster experience I've ever had. Cheers. Mm. Look at that suck action. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. <laughs>